when you think that you have reached your way all the way around, you need to stop and think, wait, do I still need to scrunch? I can still see rubber bands here. So I think I was done, but I actually, when I scrunch, I still have quite a bit of weaving left to do. So make sure that it's nice and tight this way, but it's loose this way. I still have some more to do. I may even need to put on a new string. This one might not be enough to get all the way to the end. As much as possible, I do want to try to end on the same side as my original tail. So I'm kind of at the end here, and I think that's probably going to be enough. All right, so hopefully, if you have been timing this right and uh, situating it so that you have all of your twinsies, all of your double tails where one ended and another one started. Now there are some people who say in weaving there should be no knots and that you, uh, if you have any tails that do not have a twin, I can show you how you can deal with that tail in a way where you don't have to tie it in a knot. But sometimes it seems a little bit more secure to tie them. So what we'll do, and this is why we wanted there to be a one inch tail, is that I can take these two where one color began, another ended. I want to try to get that knot to be on the underside so it doesn't show. That's one that will come loose, so I have to tie it twice. Two. If I pull that knot super tight, then I should be able to trim off the tails and kind of tuck that knot under. I'll show you that again. So sometimes they're on this side, sometimes they're on that side. Over, through, pull. Over, through, pull. Pull it nice and tight. Hold the knot and then tuck that knot inside. Just do that all the way around. When you have finished that, I'll show you what to do. So when you're finished, you can just gently slide off, and then there is your wristband. Turn it on, and there you have it.